Okay. Good evening. It's good to see you. Um, this is the March 14th meeting of Middle Smithfield Township Supervisors. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. Sure. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of February 22nd. So, any comments or questions? All in favor? Uh, Pat, could we have a report of executive session, please? Sure, the board um, met briefly immediately before this evening's public meeting uh, to discuss pending uh, litigation and real estate. Thank no you. decisions were made, no votes were taken. All right, thank you, Pat. Um, is there any public comment on non-agenda items? Anyone here? Anyone? Nice to see you. Tell I'm just here. Sure. <laughs> okay. Well, you're always welcome. You get a second bite of the apple at the end. <laughs> you're very welcome. Uh, anyone on Zoom? Uh, any public comment on non-agenda items? Anybody? All right. Good to see you, John. Uh, any, does the board have any announcements? Uh, yeah, I do. Um, just like to announce that uh, we've been awarded uh, a grant for recycling, $7,716.56 from um, DEP. And also we were awarded $113,000 from DCNR for Fire Town Road. So that was done through our public works department. Thank you. Um, Mark, anything? Don't go so to March 29th. Uh, March is Women's History Month. There's a great display over at the Community and Cultural Center. Over 27 women artists have contributed to that display. They had a great uh, opening last week. Um, chair Yoga starts this Saturday. Uh, underwriting, uh, I'm sorry, the United Way is doing tax preparation, free tax preparation there. Um, and a shout out to the United Way. The Board of Supervisors is donating $2,000 to them tonight for everything they've done for our community. Um, also, uh, we will be donating $1,000 to Pocono Wildlife. You might remember they came here a few meetings ago and made a presentation of how they are uh, in dire straits. So this board unanimously, unanimously agreed to donate to them for the service they provide to our community. Um, every public uh, meeting that the supervisors have, we always announce, please check your mail and please check our website because now there are new uh, voting districts um, and new polling places. Um, and Mike, I'm surprised you didn't mention your Easter egg hunt. No, it was <laughs> Okay. All right. So that's it for that. And you're up to committee and department. Oh, good. I just wanted to announce <laughs> uh, that our egg hunt is uh, March 23rd at noon up at Russia. Rain dates the 24th. Uh, Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Michelle, do we have any correspondence? No, we don't. Okay. So that brings us to the bid opening which is the opening of the bids for the sale of the golf course and possible award. Um, the township has not received any bids. So at this point, I would like to make a motion to extend the bid for 90 days. Second. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. And that brings us to the treasurer's report. Uh, motion from our general account, $202,928.30. Second. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion from our sealed account, $199.418.63. Uh, 
I'll second. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion from her ballot count twelve thousand two hundred seventy-three dollars and seventy-four cents. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion from her Lucas Hughes count ten thousand four hundred nine dollars and sixty cents. Second. Second. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion from our cable franchise for the fourth quarter of twenty twenty-three. Forty-one thousand six hundred five dollars and fifty-three cents. I'll second. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion from our fire slash EMS tax fund twenty twenty-four one hundred fifty-four dollars to one hundred fifty-four thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. Second. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. And a motion from our general obligation bond, one hundred twenty-three dollars, one hundred twenty-three thousand eight hundred eighteen dollars and seventy-five cents. I'll second. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All the board at this time. Okay. Thank you. All right. A uh, solicitor's report. Uh, sure. The first item on my report is volunteer tax credit associated with the municipal real estate tax. Uh, there was a question posed to me, and I <clears throat> looked into it before my time. Um, the uh, statute, uh, there is a statute providing for the ability for municipalities to adopt an ordinance to uh, provide an exemption for up to 100% of the real estate tax, mm -hmm. as well as a flat rate for the uh, earned income tax, I believe. Uh, Middle, Middle Smithfield has adopted both by ordinance. You have 100% uh, credit available to those eligible volunteers uh, for purposes of the real estate tax. And the question posed to me was, was uh, whether or not the, the newly adopted fire tax and EMS tax could be part of that exemption. And I think it is because the fire tax and the EMS tax are all part of the millage that are assessed to, to, to an individual's real estate. Uh, property. So it's part of the real estate tax and the statute provides for that tax credit for those eligible volunteers up to 100% of their real estate tax. Uh, so that 100% of the real estate tax would indirectly include uh, the additional fire and EMS tax that was adopted at the beginning of this year. Uh, I don't know if the board has any other questions or concerns for me, but you've already, you already have that on the books. Mm -hmm. The one thing I have not seen uh, so you have, a, it's in your code of ordinances, it's chapter, it's section 176.53 with respect to the tax credit, but a piece of that is a, or should be a resolution kind of spelling out uh, what the uh, volunteers need to meet in order to be eligible for that tax. And it's, Michelle's shaking her head. So the res, I don't, it was before my time, I just want to make sure that that exists. So, because mm -hmm. each year when you get volunteers who apply for that tax credit, they need to, you got a cross-reference between the the factors in the resolution make sure they need it. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't think there's nothing to act on as far as far as I'm aware. I just it was put on the agenda. I was asked about it, so I thought we'd we discuss it briefly. Are there any questions for me at this time? Okay. Uh, the next item under my report is the middle Smithfield town. I think Mike had a question. No, no, I would just ask that um, the town before you close the book on this that you look at the resolution. And make sure that it's worded correctly that this would be included. It's uh, okay. Yeah, the resolution, without having looked at yours, right. the intent of the resolution is really just to set the parameters or guidelines or factors that they have to meet to be eligible for the credit. Right. The credit itself is set forth in the ordinance. And I've seen that, and it's you okay. you're granting them 100% of the real estate tax. Well, you're happy with that. Yeah. So this way, the volunteer firemen aren't paying a tax. Right. Of on a fire tax. If they're eligible. If they're if they meet the requirements yeah. to be eligible under the volunteer tax credit. Well, I agree with my let's make sure the resolution is right because yesterday in the meeting we discussed sending something forward to the school board and the county commissioners. Okay. That they should do the same thing. Yeah, just uh, email me a copy of it. I, I I looked a little bit on the website, I couldn't find it. So okay. just leave this out for the next one. Small potatoes. Then we need the other two. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll review the uh, 
resolution with consent. Uh, the next item under my report is the Middle Smithfield Township Revitalization Route 209 grant program application. Uh, it was brought to my attention. If you recall, you adopted a, a resolution along with some additional documents associated with the revitalization uh, of Route 209 grant program for the township. Uh, and I guess reviewing some of your recent or first round of applications for the grant, uh, the zoning officer or other officials of the township were concerned with the ability to go on their property to inspect as part of the review process of the applications. Uh, so what I did uh, in the application form that every applicant uh, fills out, I added to the acknowledgement section uh, that they specifically agree and consent to the township accessing, entering, traversing, and inspecting their properties uh, during the review of the application. It also acknowledges the fact that uh, they're likely not going to be entitled to or uh, eligible for the grant funds in the event that they're in violation of any township ordinance. Uh, so I added that language to both the application as well as the preliminary approval acknowledgement form associated with the, the, uh, the grant program. I, what I did do, I circulated a track change version of the application in the form. Is everyone okay with that? Yes. Um, so if the board is willing to entertain a motion to uh, approve the revised application form, it would be appropriate at this time. I, I will make the motion to approve this change. Sure. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, and that's all I have for my report, unless there's something additional from the board at this point for me. Okay. Um, thank, you. thank you, Pat. Yep. Um, engineer's report, there is none tonight. There is no engineer. Um, old business, there is none. Uh, new business, Mark, I think you have a piece. It's up to you. No, I will. I, I don't want to do it. Uh, it's a simple resolu uh, resolution 03 2024. It's just simple joiner deed to the small parcels in Monroe Lake. And it's for, pardon me for butchering this, Mark Mario Ez and Katarina kind of Zorina Zatorsky. Sure. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, public comment. Yes, sir. Yes, um, Max Guglielmo of the record. What is the reaction from the Middle Springfield Township Board of Supervisors in getting no bids for the golf course? Um, I, I would say that we've gone this route before. We did receive bids before. Um, we're optimistic that by extending it by ninety days. We get may get one or two more for any bids, I should say. Anyone else? No. no. Thank you. Any other public comment? Anybody on Zoom? Oh, uh, uh, Pedro, I think you yeah. raised your hand. You you're muted. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Hi. Um, is there a minimum bid for the golf course? Do you guys have a minimum yeah. bid or? There, there is six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very Appreciate well. it. That was all my. That's all the question I had. Any other uh, comments or questions? Anyone? Okay. Your favorite moment. Well, Comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.